One Goal Friends and Family. Please welcome to the stage One Goal alumna Evelyn Ruiz. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hello, how is everyone doing tonight? It's good to hear. Yes, you heard it right. I am an alumni of One Goal. I might look like I'm 12, <laughs> but I'm actually a junior at Northeastern Illinois University. Thank you. This year makes me a year five fellow. I know some of you guys are like, whoa, there's five levels to this? <laughs> One goal technically ends after year three, but it's still such a big part of my identity. I'm a recent graduate of Arupe College of Loyola University, <laughs> where I completed my third year of One Goal and graduated with my associate's degree before transferring to Northeastern Illinois. But let's talk about the third year of the program. The year where fellows head to college. Year three is different. College was a whole new world to me. I realized I was old enough to do certain things, but not old enough to do others. For example, I remember having the sudden urge to raise my hand to ask permission to use the bathroom. And it wasn't until this moment that I realized I didn't have to ask. I could just simply get up and go. Some of the independence was scary. There were new opportunities waiting for me just to reach up and grab them, but I didn't always feel ready or wasn't tall enough. <laughs> Throughout my high school journey and beyond, one Goal gave me an imaginary step stool. One Goal provides Chicago students with program directors who are trained to help and guide their students into the best fit college of their personal goals. Program directors organize college trips, teach students how to manage their time, read and complete confusing paperwork, fill out FAFSA, and apply to scholarships. But one goal is much more than that. My relationship with Miller, my program director, yes, started during my sophomore year at Chicago Academy High School in English Lit. I despised reading in any way, shape, or form, and Miller was my English teacher. I think you can imagine how often we butted heads. Miller guided me through tough situations in which I just wanted to give up. Beginning with my junior year, when I took the ACT four times and still got the same score of 16 each time. Miller was the first person to tell me how much better I can do and how we were gonna make it happen. They pushed me because they saw the potential in me that at the time I didn't realize I had. Our relationship is m so much more than a one goal program director and fellow. Miller is my mentor, the first person I call when I need advice on big and little things, and a friend. An example of the relationship that I built with Miller happened during my senior year. My college list included out of state schools, only, uh, out of state schools that were only four hours away. Unfortunately, my parents had different ideas. I was told that there wasn't gonna be any money left since my parents would be paying for my twin sister to attend Dominican University. I was also told that I couldn't go away because I didn't think I was mature enough yet. I was heartbroken. Instead of realizing my dreams of dorming, walking through the quad, and gaining the freshman 15, I had to face the reality of staying at home. Miller worked with me to understand what I was looking for 
and was able to help make a decision that set me on a new path, Arupe College of Loyola University. At first, I was not fully convinced because my heart was set on leaving the city and instead I would be in the heart of Chicago. But when I started Arupe, I realized that Miller had been right. Even though I was living at home and commuting to school, which hadn't been my plan, I quickly learned that going to school right downtown would be a world apart from my neighborhood in Belmont Cragen. As a freshman in college, I had to get used to the fact that fourth period wasn't my one goal class, but instead it was art renaissance and today's topic was the 15th century. It was especially hard for me to get used to dealing with things on my own. Luckily, I had one of the best program directors out there, Miller. Whenever I needed help filling out FAFSA, they were the first person I called. Whenever I posted about how slowly I was dying because of finals week, I get a message saying, let's get coffee. The Wungle staff invited us to the office whenever we needed a place to study, and Miller would organize group meetups and dinners for my cohort during the, during the year throughout our breaks. The first few weeks were rough, but Miller was there. We texted each other almost every day for the first two months, and then slowly, that started to fade. Not because of anything bad, but because it was time for me to use the step stool and take my independence. Miller let me know that they were available to help me whenever I needed it, but that they wouldn't be checking up on me every day. Miller showed me the door, but I had to turn the knob and walk through it on my own. Year three was about finding myself. Whether I was on a college campus two hours away or in the heart of Chicago, Miller and Wungo were there to help me become a successful college graduate. Whether I needed books, mentoring, had a hard time paying part of my tuition, or just needed a place to study. Now, two years later, I'm a junior at Northeastern Illinois. I have many friends on campus. And looking back, I can see how far I've come. I realized that the champions in my life, my parents and Miller, helped me make the choice that was right for me in the long run. And I'm graduating in 12 months. Thank you. I plan on using my degree in communications and marketing to help make a difference in the nonprofit world. It's because of one goal that, the, that I have an appreciation for the amount of love and good that comes from the nonprofit work. And I want to continue on this path. It's because of the work that one goal does that students like myself have a chance. It's because of one goal that the number of Chicago students who enroll in colleges is growing. It's because of one goal that the students who need the extra help get it. It's because of one goal that graduating from college is no longer a dream, but my goal, period. <laughs>